In this video, five popular programming languages will face off against each other in an epic battle of speed. The contenders are C, Java, C++, Python, and C Sharp. I have written the same program in all five languages to find out which one will run the fastest. The goal of this competition is to execute the count triples function as fast as possible. It takes two parameters, an integer array r and an integer sum. The function returns the number of triples in r whose elements add up to sum. So if we call it with this array and a sum of zero, then it would return two because there are two triples that sum to zero. Zero, two, minus two, and two, minus three, one. The algorithm used is not particularly clever. It simply enumerates all triples and checks their sum. This takes big O n cube time, where n is the length of the array. The function looks very similar when written in these languages. But will the execution time also be similar? Let's find out. For round one of the competition, we use an array containing 1000 elements. Each element has been randomly generated to be in the range from minus 1000 to plus 1000. For the sum parameter, I've used zero for all experiments in this video. So we are counting triples which sum to zero. Before we look at the results, here is a little disclaimer. How fast a program runs doesn't really depend on the programming language itself. It depends more so on the language implementation, meaning the specific compiler or the interpreter used to run the program. Speed also depends on many other factors like the hardware and operating system. I'm using recent versions of standard and popular compilers and interpreters. For more details, check out the GitHub repository for this project. It's linked in the description. Here you can also download the code and try running experiments on your own computer, perhaps using different compilers. All right, let's get into the results for round one. Here we are testing an array with 1000 elements. I've repeated the experiment 100 times for each language, so the results are averaged over those 100 runs. The slowest language clocking in at 7148 milliseconds is Python. With it being the only interpreted language in this competition, I did expect it to take last place. But if we look at the other four languages, I was surprised just how much slower it is. It is more than 100 times slower than the second slowest language. Some people online suggested that changing these four range loops to while loops could make the program run faster. But when I tried this, it only made things worse. For the first few runs, it was almost twice as slow as the four range version. Although interestingly, it did speed up after a few runs, but even then it was still slower. Okay, let's agree that Python takes last place and it's not even close. The other four languages are very close on this input. So let's give them a bigger challenge before I reveal which color corresponds to which language. For round two, the array contains 5000 random elements. The slowest remaining language, clocking in at 7435 milliseconds, is C sharp. In third place, with a time more than twice as fast, we have Java. And in second place, clocking in at 1862 milliseconds, we have C++. Which of course means that first place goes to C with an impressive time of 1851 milliseconds. It's fascinating to me how fast these programs run. Keep in mind, that a 5000 element array contains more than 20 billion triples, which are all enumerated. For good measure, let's try an even bigger array containing 10,000 elements. 
for this array, there are more than 166 billion triples to enumerate. Here are the results. Of course, the programs took much longer on this input. But once again, we get the same speed order as before. But C and C++ are very close, both here and in the previous two rounds. This makes sense because I compiled both programs using Microsoft's C and C++ compiler. Although this compiler does distinguish between C and C++ files, it generated the exact same code for the count triples function. The only difference is the line numbers. And that's because the C function starts on line 5, while the C++ function starts on line 6. The small time difference we observe between these languages may just be due to natural variation or the different clock implementations I've used. So I think it's fair to say that C and C++ are tied for the win. In summary, the Python version was the slowest by far and using while loops only made things worse. In third place, we have C Sharp, which was more than 100 times faster than Python in round one. In second place, we have Java, which was about twice as fast as C Sharp in all three rounds. And finally, in first place, we have a tie between C and C++. Both were almost twice as fast as Java in all three rounds. Did the results surprise you? I was surprised how slow Python was compared to the other languages. I was also expecting C Sharp to be faster than Java, but that was not the case. If you try running the experiment for yourself, then please let me know if you get different results. Thank you for watching.